Hello YouTube friends. It's really, really early on a summer's morning. And Anna and I have planned this. She's come this morning to take some photographs that we might end up using on the calendar. And so we, talk, we thought we'd take this opportunity to have a little look around the garden. It's pretty magical at this time of day. It must be about 5, 5.30, something like that. And although the sun's up already, the light is really beautiful and the garden looks stunning in this early morning light. So Anna and I will do the work that we want to do, but we also thought we'd bring you along for a look round the garden. I really love this time of year. I thought from the treehouse balcony that I might see down into the garden but the trees have grown up so much that it's just a whole mass of beautiful greenery out there. I can just glimpse the pavilion in the distance. I'm going to go down there and have a cup of tea in a minute. Can't see the house at all. I'm in the area of the place that I call the front woods because it's woodland and it's in front of the house so it's quite descriptive and in this area here there's no cultivation it's just left to go completely wild and all sorts of creatures live here and one in particular there's a deer that lives here every year maybe a pair and this year the deer has been bolder than any other year and has come into my garden and eaten all the vegetable crops that I've grown for myself. So while it's rather wonderful to think there's a wild deer living down here, just within sight of the garden, it's also a real nuisance because all the things that I planted that I wanted to eat, plus quite a lot of um, my flowers, some flowers, it's been very selective, so all the hostas are gone. All my sweet peas. It's eaten all my sweet peas. Uh, it's eaten quite a lot of the apples and the cordon apples in the pavilion. And so while I regret all the things that the deer's eaten, it lives just down here somewhere. I see it most days. There are still some rather spectacular flowers in the garden that the deer hasn't touched. And so we'll show you all of those. It's very hot here in the UK at the moment, and so I've been watering. I've been moving the hose pipe from bed to bed, trying to keep them all really lovely and damp. And that's been repaid by the planting that I've done uh, in the garden. So some areas of triumph and some of disaster, but isn't that life?
So Anna's got up at 4.30 this morning to come over here and take some photographs of the house in the early morning light because it does look beautiful and we're taking pictures for the calendar and I'm not sure but one of these pictures that she's taking this morning might end up being one of your summer pages in the calendar but that's tremendous commitment isn't it <laughs> to wake up so early and come up here to help me get my calendar images it's very beautiful here at this time of the morning I'm usually asleep right now <laughs> And before the day's properly got started, this is when the birds and animals take their chance. It's their time. And the swallows on the lake. It's been a really healthy number of swallows this year. It's really hard to see them unless you're here, but they they duck down onto the lake to collect the little insects that are hovering there. But the insects that are hovering there are also attacking me now. So I'm going to go back down to the pavilion and make Anna some breakfast. Are you coming, Eileen?
So now I've brought my sewing machine outside. You know what I'm going to be doing this morning, don't you? I'm going to sew as many of these together as I can to finish these porch curtains. I hope you've enjoyed this little look round the garden of the last homely house at dawn. I've really enjoyed it. And so I'll see you next time. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Leave me a comment. I really enjoy reading your comments. So thank you. Bye now.